Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. Luna and I are so happy to have you guys. Um, all of you who have already subscribed, thank you. Those of you who stopped by to give your energetic donation, also thank you so much. Today I am here to do a collective reading on the person that's on your mind. So I want to tap into their energy and see what's on their mind, what's currently happening around them and how they view you and all that good stuff. Um, so if you haven't already done so, make sure you click the subscribe button, like, share, comment so that I know that these messages have resonated with someone out there. Um, and I can come back and do more of these readings. All right, Spirit, for the collective, what's been happening, um, what's, what's in their person's current energy? What's in their person's current energy? Um, I feel like this person has been holding back a lot, like, I don't know, hiding secrets, hiding something. There's something that they're afraid that something's going to come out. I also feel like justice is in reverse, so maybe they're feeling like their current situation is really unfair. Tell me more about this. This person, I feel like collective, um, has someone around their energy that, and let me see, clarify, who is this queen of wands? That they view as very beautiful. This could be you. Um, there's, there's, okay, so there's, okay, there's a few people here. I, I feel like we have two people here and they're trying to balance a decision on their mind or something's made them really think about who they should go to or some some kind of um, mental game like this. Because I think it's a game. It looks like a game uh, because I also feel like it's they're in a, like a roller coaster of emotions, kind of what I see in the background. But there's someone um, that they see as very beautiful, very intellectual, someone very independent, someone that knows exactly what they want. And then there's someone also around here that, um, I don't know if they've used them for money or they've lost money or something like this. So it's made this person really defensive. What else is up in the current energy? Okay, so yeah, I feel like they're thinking about a commitment, a an offer or, just seeing you as um, someone they could possibly settle with. And I say possible because there's a lot of doubt on their mind right now. What else is in their current energy? Yeah, they don't wanna fight. I feel like this person is tired, it's exhausted, and they're in an energy of just not wanting fights, just wanting things to go smoothly. How does this person view my viewer? How does this person view my viewer? They're afraid that you will reject them. I feel like with you, they felt victorious. They felt like, I feel like you uplifted this person. Like when they were around you, they felt so good. They felt victorious, they felt good, but they're afraid of being rejected. How else do they view my person? How do they view my viewer? I feel like they also think that you have options or that you're talking to other people. Um, so I feel like they're waiting or that you're waiting to talk to them or you're waiting or you're holding back because you feel like this person has a lot of options. It's also coming as crossing. So there could be uh, other options crossing this relationship right now. So it's like a time period to wait. Um, I'm not saying not to not live your life, but if this is meant to happen, I feel like the right time. I keep hearing something about timing. Is there someone who doesn't want to be deceptive anymore, who's trying to be more honest with themselves? Yeah, trying to make a decision. They miss you. There's nostalgia, there's memories. Um, how else do they view my person? How do they view my person? Okay, 
okay as a new beginning as a brand new start as something that could possibly work but i don't know if you feel like this person is stubborn or that they view you as someone who is stubborn and not willing to budge or compromise yeah again they don't want to fight they don't want fights um and i feel like you're not fighting i feel like you've taken things how they are and you're like okay that's fine whatever you just kind of keep moving with your life and not minding this situation a lot of your attention anymore so that's that's nice on your part um what uh possible action is this person going to take towards my person so again it's just I feel like this person is in a player-like energy, like lustful, um, promiscuous, talking to a lot of people, partying, drinking. Um, they have a lifestyle that I feel like this is what blocked the connection. Um, this person, yeah, they, they're coming off as a player energy. Um, and I think this is why there has been um, a disconnect or this is what affected your relationship spirit. What else affected this relationship? Yeah. Yeah, another person, another relationship, another, I don't know, there could be a Gemini involved, but there was another person, another situation that affected this relationship. But they don't, they don't feel love or they're not in a loving stage for for love necessarily because there's a lot of mental confusion tell me more spirit on this situation or the lovers yeah again page of pentacles not offering anything in this situation either um and it's in reverse so i feel like it was a a distraction or trying to forget you kind of energy trying not replace you because you're not replaceable but i feel like this is what this person is seeing um what does this person want with my viewer? What's the energy? What does this person want with my viewer? Yep, this is a past life relationship, so this could be a friend, lover, or ex. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, and that's kind of like the Hierophant was here too. Attraction. There is attraction calling in your soulmate. And I feel like this person is also like confused because they're not sure who is their soulmate. So I feel like they're asking spirit, like, show me who this person is. But I also feel like this person has a lot of attraction for you. And they want you to keep an open mind and to not judge them. Yeah. And maybe they want to have like a lighthearted energy to come towards you. And this could be, you could be this person's true love. Uh, maybe they've never experienced your kind of love, but this is why they're so confused because I feel like with all these options or thinking they could go a different way, they've realized that nobody is like you. Like your love is so different from anything they've ever experienced. And whatever they're encountering right now, <coughs> oh, bless you, hi. <laughs> it's not happening for them. Come here, come here, Nuna, come on, come here. It's okay. Um, let's see what's going on here. What, what's the advice in this situation? Yeah. They really, I don't know, you guys take it. I hope that this uh, resonates with you guys. They're going to come forth. I feel like they're going to come towards you guys. If they've been hiding i don't mean like hiding because they're afraid but just trying to figure out their life um if they've disconnected from you um they really truly see you as happiness they see you as someone that used to bring bright days in their darker nights um they see you as a queen of cups you're so loving you're so caring um you never minded pouring all of your love into this person you were always there for them and they see this now i feel like they're having realization that that's what they see so i feel like they are going to come out of um this hermit energy and try to talk to you spirit what is this person not telling my viewer where are they keeping from my person 
Oh, okay. So yeah, they think about you all the time. I replay our conversations over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, so if you had a heart to heart conversation um, or they mistreated you in some kind of way, I wish I could take my words back. So I think they're realizing the damage or the hurt that they caused in your life. Just being near you is intoxicating. It's your love, it's your energy. Like, I don't know, I feel like they want it and they want to be around you a lot because you have a very healing energy. And you were healing this person. Just your presence was healing their, yeah, I wish things could be different. There's a lot of wish, 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 wishing. I wish things could be different. My life is not as together as it seems. So they might be experiencing, again, like a lot of drama or fights or setbacks. And even though if you've seen this person living their best life, that's not really what's happening. Spirit, guardian angels, what messages do we have for the collective? Trust, okay. Abund abundance. I just, I think right now you have shifted your energy into having more of an abundant life. Uh, be assertive, know exactly what you want, and the answer is no. Um, so, the answer is no. Oh, wrong book, you guys. Mm. The response to your inquiry is a firm no. You you don't need to worry though as you will see why this was the perfect answer as time goes by so there's something about divine timing trust your journey trust that this was the best for you guys um i want to do one more card i don't know i just kind of feel like i should give you guys one more perfect timing perfect timing you guys trust that there is something about perfect timing oh, i'm so glad that card came out you guys this is exactly what I've been trying to say the whole time. So it's like the right person at the wrong time. Luna, Luna, careful, careful, perfect timing. You guys, this is beautiful. That's exactly what I was hoping would come out. Um, let's see here. We'll read this quickly and then. This is the perfect timing for the situation you've asked about. Move forward with confidence. Don't delay or hesitate because an energy gateway is presently open for you. Conditions are right, even if you don't feel prepared. Rest assured that you are, okay? So you guys, this was your uh, message for today. If any of these messages resonated, please let me know, like, share, subscribe, so I know to come back and do these readings for you guys, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.